Uh, welcome to a new video and a new camera comparison between the Vivo X100 Pro versus the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. So let's get started. So this gloomy day I'm starting uh, this uh, camera comparison with the camera specs that you can see here on screen. Uh, both uh, feature a triple lens setup, 50, 50, 50 megapixels on the Vivo and uh, here we have the Mate 60 Pro's camera specs as well and uh, yeah the highlight on the Vivo is definitely the one inch type sensor and on the Mate it's the variable aperture on the main camera sensor there and uh, yeah let's take a look also at the front facing shooters we have a 3D face unlock on the Mate and a normal 2D uh, one yeah camera 32 megapixels on the Vivo X100 Pro and I think we start off with the front-facing videos. The Vivo X100 um, yeah, is a bit disappointing. Only 1080p, up to 60 frames per second. Uh, stabilization, yeah, well, there is some stabilization. It can crop and crop in, crop out a little bit, but we don't have any zoom sliders or anything there. What do you think about the audio quality here? I'm using internal mics, um, just like on the Mate 60 Pro. What do you think about HDR? Is there even good HDR? I think it's a bit overexposed there in the background, especially there. What do you think about the front-facing video here on the Vivo X100 Pro? Uh, Mate 60 Pro front-facing video. What do you think about this here? 4K, 30 frames per second recording, and we can zoom in one times, or we can go to the ultra-wide angle. That is possible as well. What do you think about this one here? I like the 0.8 times, especially useful for vlogging. The only thing that this is missing is uh, uh, front-facing autofocus. Otherwise, this would be ideal for vlogging. What do you think? One-inch main camera on the Vivo X100 Pro. What do you think about this one here? This one has a nice background blur. What do you think about the uh, HDR here in the background? What do you think about stabilization? We can also go and and uh, 4K30 go to the ultra wide angle. This is the ultra wide angle right now. What do you think about HDR here? Uh, Vivo is usually very good with HDR. What do you about, think about the internal mics here on the Vivo X100 Pro? And then of course we have the possibility to zoom in on something. So we have this uh, two times crop on the main sensor and then 4.3 times zoom. And then we can even zoom up to 10 times in 4K30. But also 4K60 doesn't have much of a difference there. 10 times maximum zoom here on this camera. What do you think? Main camera sensor, Mate 60 Pro. We have variable aperture here. We have a very large sensor as well. F2, I think, is the one that it's using right now. What do you think about the stabilization? 4K30 recording. We can go up to 4K60 if we want to. We can switch to the ultra wide angle with one tap of a button. This is the ultra wide angle. What do you think about this ultra wide angle? How about HDR? We have a bit of sun going on there in the background. What do you think about this one here? And of course, we can also zoom in. So let's try to zoom in on, for example, those towers there in the background four times and then 10 times and i think we can go up even further up to 15 times maximum zoom at 4k 30. what do you think front facing video comparison what we can clearly see here is first of all vivo x100 pro only has 1080p so it is less sharp than the mate 60 pro that has yeah 4k 30 frames per second even though the vivo x100 pro has good 1080p i would say it struggles a little bit with the um with the hdr and you can clearly see that the you saw maybe that the mate 60 pro when we take a look at the end here has a bit better hdr where the sun and the background is not so blown out as on the vivo x100 pro when we take a look at the other possibilities that we have with the uh, mate 60 pro then I think the flexibility is also key here where we have the ultra wide angle uh, possibility that we simply don't have on the Vivo X100 Pro. The Vivo X100 Pro also struggles in terms of stabilization. As you can see here, each step is basically shaking up the camera where on the Mate 60 Pro, yes, here on the ultra wide angle, it's also like this, but here when you go to 0.8 times already, it's a lot stable, more smooth looking than on the Vivo X100 Pro. So yes, the front-facing video is a win definitely for the Mate 60 Pro.
Main camera video, what we can see here on first glance, more contrasty look on the Vivo X100 Pro. The Mate 60 Pro looks a bit cooler overall. We have also the larger sensor on the Vivo X100 Pro with large aperture that gives us a bit more background blur. You can see a clever... Uh, very clearly that the background blur is a lot better there than on the Mate 60 Pro. When we take a look at the stabilization, we can see both are doing very fine. It looks to be that the uh, Vivo X100 Pro is cropping in a little bit more than the uh, Mate 60 Pro, which is quite interesting. And when we take a look at the ultra wide angle, what we can clearly see is, first of all, both uh, very nice in switching between the uh, lenses which is quite nice and uh, what we can clearly see is here wider field of view on the Mate 60 Pro also I think in terms of HDR maybe the Vivo X100 Pro a little bit better HDR there uh, than the uh, Mate 60 Pro though the Mate 60 Pro has a wider angle of view and gives you a more dramatic field of view and I think the contrast is a bit too yeah strong on the X100 Pro here uh, when it comes to zoom levels, however, also very interesting because uh, let's go and uh, compare this side by side. Warmer colors on the Mate 60 Pro, a bit cooler colors on the uh, Vivo X100 Pro. It's not a big difference between them, to be completely honest. Um, yes, the Vivo X100 Pro is slightly more detailed there, but it's not so far off in video mode as it is in uh, photo mode and you can even zoom in a little bit more here 15 times I think with the Mate 60 Pro where the Vivo caps it at 10 times zoom only might be enough anyway but uh, yeah let's compare them with each other and you can clearly see yes it's a bit more mushy on the Mate 60 Pro where it's a bit more detailed on the Vivo X100 Pro. So the zoom goes directly to the Vivo X100 Pro, even though I think I like the colors on the Mate 60 Pro a little bit better here overall for all the video uh, videos, because the Vivo X100 Pro is a little bit too contrasty in my opinion. What do you think? The photos on the left are always the Vivo X100 Pro, on the right are always the Mate 60 Pro. Yes, I was also in Cologne city center and I took a few shots here with the ultra wide angle, but it was a very gloomy and rainy day. What we can see here on first glance, brighter picture on the Vivo X100 Pro and we have a bit of more yellowish, warmer kind of tone on the Vivo X100 Pro as you can see here down, uh, down here where the garage entry uh, is entrances. And the Mate 60 Pro is a bit wider as you can also see. And when we take a look at the metadata, we can see 13 versus 15 millimeters. So yes, it's quite a bit wider. So we have a little bit more of information here on the sides that is just lost here. We take a look at the detail level, however, what we can clearly see as the Vivo X100 Pro is struggling a bit with the sharpness here. Yes, the Mate 60 Pro is sharpening things up, maybe slightly over sharpening the stuff as well. But overall, I would say it's just like not over too much over sharpened that it would look uh, that it would look like totally artificial here. And here you can clearly see the Mate 60 Pro's superiority when it comes to the ultra wide angle. It's just simply better. And uh, also here with the highlights, I think it's better controlled. Look at the, those bars here and compare them with here. It's a little bit better on the Mate 60 Pro, even though it is a wider angle of view that we have for sure. And when we come to zoom lens, very interesting. This is the 95, three and a half times zoom on the Mate 60 Pro. It's cropping in a little bit by default because, yeah, it's cropping in from the main sensor already from 24 to 27. This is why we have a very similar photo length with 100 millimeter on the Vivo X100 and Mate 60 Pro uh, 95 millimeter. So they're very, very close there. What we can clearly see here is again a bit more bluish kind of exposure on the Mate 60 Pro. A bit more raised shadows on the Mate 60 Pro. It's a bit darker, more contrasty look on the Vivo X100 Pro. You can clearly see here the red is more accurate on the Mate 60 Pro here, where it's a bit too, too contrasty on the Mate 60 Pro. And you don't see the stars. Uh, edges so much in this red color and also the back of this clock is a bit more visible with the Mate 60 Pro. You can see a little bit more details there as well which is quite impressive as well especially here where everything is dark and black on the Vivo X100 Pro. When we take a look at the main camera sensor now at the Rhine here what we can clearly see is a bit more punchy colors on the Vivo X100 Pro but this is by default the vivid color profile that we have here for sure where the Mate 60 Pro is a bit more natural kind of looking HDR both are handling fine in terms of sharpness however I would say it is also like 
equally good on both. And uh, yeah, my daughter's playing with her milk. Okay, let her play. Uh, and then we have zoom shots here. Uh, the Vivo X100 Pro has also like kind of a macro capability with the zoom shots, does it? Or not really, the Mate 60 Pro has it for sure. The Vivo X100 Pro doesn't have it, even though it looks very, very nice. You can clearly see it's confirmed focus. It's not really in focus. The Mate 60 Pro, however, is on a completely different playing field here. So you can get this like macro-like shots with a nice blurry background, even though I like the blurrier background on the Vivo X100 Pro. Even if I go to five times zoom on the Mate 60 Pro here, you can clearly see it still has more details than the Vivo X100 Pro. So yes, we get a bit more blurry background here on the Mate 60 Pro, which is artificially adding there. Nevertheless, it's uh, the difference here. Wide angle, super wide angle, ultra wide angle, a bit wider again on the Mate 60 Pro, a bit sharper again on the Mate 60 Pro, a lot of software on the Vivo X100 Pro. It's quite amazing that the Mate 60 Pro can pull this off. Color difference here, again, the green grass, a lot punchier, more realistic on the Mate 60 Pro, but this is thanks to the color profile HDI. I think that the Vivo X100 Pro is doing a slightly better job there. Zoom shots here again, this is 100 versus 95 millimeters, so 4.3 versus 3.5 times zoom. And what we can clearly see here is that the Mate 60 Pro looks a bit too artificial for sure. So it's trying to add information into this uh, little sculpture that is still simply not there. And this is like making it looking worse, where the Vivo X100 Pro keeps it more real. So this is definitely a win for the Vivo X100 Pro. Uh, portrait shots, however, when it comes to portraits, very interesting because 3.5 times portraits, I think. Like, for example, I was like standing next to this little uh, walkway there, there and wanted to photograph this sculpture there made out of wood. And with the Vivo X100 Pro, if I wanted to use the 100 millimeters, I have to step back even further than uh, with the Mate 60 Pro. And this would make me go off the walkway, which is like uh, stepping on the green grass, which is not what a German wants to do in a park, <laughs> to be completely honest. Nevertheless, um, you know, just for the sake of it, this is what we have of 85 millimeters. You can see it, 85 millimeters, which is one of the portrait modes that we have on the Vivo X100 Pro. It doesn't look so bad, but it's also not so sharp as the Mate 60 Pro's three and a half times zoom, which is like uh, the uh, 95 millimeter that it offers uh, in its portrait mode as well. So both uh, happen to be with portrait mode here. And <coughs> yeah, the Vivo X100 Pro doesn't look so good. I think the Mate 60 Pro for those portraits is slightly better, not only because of the quality, I think the Vivo X100 Pro has a good quality 100 millimeter, just because the photo length is a bit more usable there. Uh, then we have here this little uh, guy photographed with the main camera sensor, and this shows how good the Mate 60 Pro's uh, variable aperture with f1.4 is really. We have a bit more detail here, I think, on the front, where here, yeah, it's a bit brighter on the Vivo X100 Pro, also, you can clearly read here some number parts and so on, and you can see the rust uh, everywhere. Uh, also, the photo length, focal, focal length is a little bit be uh, different here. 23 versus 27 millimeter. This is the more cropped in Mate 60 Pro. Later on, I will also do a cropped in version. This is also possible on the Vivo X100 Pro. Nevertheless, which one would you prefer here in this case? I think I prefer the more contrasty look on the Mate 60 Pro in this case. Here, however, I like more the Vivo X100 Pro. The sun is like in the back there behind this uh, church tower. And uh, yeah, the Mate 60 Pro makes everything look like grayish here in front. Maybe it is true to life, but this looks more pleasant and more interesting on the Vivo X100 Pro with the sun there shining through uh, the um, branches of the tree and this green here in the front which uh, on both is not pretty sharp there. For sure, you can see heavily editing on the Mate 60 Pro, like sharpening things up. So the Mate 60 Pro struggles here with HDR a bit. And here the one inch type sensor on the Vivo X100 Pro is showing its uh, potential, especially here in terms of sharpness. And this is not done with the um, yeah, 23 or 27 millimeters. This is done with 50 and 46 centimeters, 55 actually millimeters. Uh, and uh, 46 millimeters, so two times zoom basically on both. And you can clearly see the superiority of the main camera sensor where they crop in both of the Vivo X100 Pro. And yeah, I, I played a little bit with the vivid bright option on the Mate 60 Pro. It doesn't make it more look more vivid in terms of colors. It just brightens th things up and looks not very pleasant, like lifeless 
almost. Um, <clears throat> and also here, this is the, the wait a second. This is the normal mode. This is the color, uh, the vivid mode. Uh, so this this is the size mode. This is the vivid mode. The vivid mode is punching in a little bit more colors, but it's not much of a difference. Ten times zoom versus ten times zoom on this sculpture here in the park. And what we can clearly see is here again warmer colors, definitely warmer colors and more lively colors on the VIVAX 100 Pro. We have a bit of more lifeless colors on the Mate 60 Pro. When we zoom in, we can see chromatic aberration issues. It's not perfect on the VIVAX 100 Pro either, but it looks better. More details. Look at the trees, uh, tree stem differences here and details there. Yes, it's a bit artificially on the VIVAX 100 Pro, but when I zoom out, this adds like to this look, which uh, gives us a bit more detail. And also here, the chromatic aberrations, also a bit of chromatic aberrations on the X100 Pro for sure. Nevertheless, both very good. Uh, then another interesting, yeah, a peephole <laughs> to look through. Um, and here I use the 95 versus 100, or 100 versus 95 as well. And uh, yeah, we see the more punchy colors here. We see everything nice and sharp on the Vivo X100 Pro. And it doesn't look so bad. The Mate 60 Pro also okay, but a little bit overblown highlights there. And the background heavily sharpened up, as you can see here. And yeah, this is where I looked through. This is now with the main camera sensor. Look at the detail here of the main camera sensor. This is the little peephole to look through. And um, yeah, quite interesting that we have a little bit warmer colors here again. In terms of detail levels, however, I'm surprised that the Mate 60 Pro can keep up with the one inch type sensor there without a doubt. Ultra wide angle, we talked already before. We have the lively colors on the Vivo X100 Pro, but in terms of sharpness, we want to just crop in or something like this. The Vivo X100 Pro is just simply falling apart. And the Mate 60 Pro, despite having the wider field of view, has a little bit more details there. Look at this. We can even see like this, uh, yeah, looks like someone hanging their pants, but apparently it's artwork. It's art <laughs> here in this uh, park, which is like the Schloss Park, full of art here in Cologne Stammheim. And uh, yeah, here also the detail levels, I think, are superior on the Mate 60 Pro, even though it looks a bit lifeless in terms of colors. But that's more true to life, actually, on the Mate 60 Pro, where the Vivo X100 Pro doesn't look like winter time, looks like it could be like a spring or something like this with this green grass there. Then we have a Christmas tree as well. Yeah, Christmas is coming quick and fast. And uh, this one has been taken with the three and a half and uh, the 4.3 times zoom, 4.3 times on the Vivo, of course. Here you can see the superiority of the Vivo X100 Pro's um, tele zoom camera that clearly is superior here in terms of uh, colors, uh, contrast, details. It doesn't have this chromatic aberrations. And uh, you can clearly see that this was like uh, focusing on the back on the Mate 60 Pro and make everything sharp, firmed and back where the Vivo X100 Pro has like a bit of blur here. So maybe a larger uh, sensor, maybe better focusing, but definitely here the superiority in terms of colors and uh, chromatic aberration, sharpness, details on the X100 Pro, even though it's not a huge, huge difference, as you can see, especially when I'm going to the bottom part there. And that's it in terms of daylight shots. Overall, Vivo X100 Pro, definitely better main camera sensor, the weaker ultra wide angle. And when it comes to the um, tele zoom lens, I think it has a more potential, more stronger tele zoom lens than the Mate 60 Pro. But for portraits, I think the Mate 60 Pro might still uh, be a little bit superior here because of the focal length uh, three and a half times 95 millimeters versus 100 doesn't sound so much of a difference but it is this few steps where the mate 60 pro feels a bit more comfortable using it for portrait shots than the vivo x100 pro especially as the 85 millimeter for example that might be very comparable uh, to the mate 60 pros um, doesn't have this sharpness to it what do you think? Special video night mode on the Vivo X100 Pro. What do you think about this one here? A little bit dark here right now. What do you think about the stabilization? I'm walking towards the light here and uh, using the internal speakers, 4K30 recording. And we have a special night video mode here on the Vivo X100 Pro. And now I'm under the light, walking away from the light. Light is behind me. What do you think about the quality here? How good is stabilization, colors and so on? And now I'm turning around. I'm in the dark now, the light is shining on my face. What do you think about this quality here? Now the Huawei Mate 60 Pro's a night video mode. Actually, it is a 
normal video mode but I think it's automatically regulating f1.4 as aperture for the main camera sensor and then also uh, 24 frames per second instead of 30 frames per second in 4k walking towards the light right now car passing by we just ignore this one here and uh, what do you think about stabilization colors and uh, yeah the audio quality because we are using the internal mics standing under the light right now and now let's move a little bit further here light now in the background how does it handle this and uh, let's go into the dark and turn around and you can see the uh, light illuminating my face and the dark background what do you think about the mate 60 pro at night the advantage that the mate 60 pro with its ultra wide angle and better processing had is uh, especially on the ultra wide angle getting slimmer and slimmer the vx100 pro has better exposure here definitely on the ultra wide angle not a wide field of view like we have on the mate 60 pro but you can see the exposure is much better hdr is working better on the vx100 pro where the mate 60 pro struggles a bit the mate 60 pro has heavily processed everything here where the vx100 pro also but clearly has a bit more noise still going on and it adds a little bit or leaves a little bit more details in there that is simply not available on the mate 60 pro in terms of lights here very interesting very uh, accurate on the vivo x100 pro where the mate 60 pro is i think making the red a little bit too bright reddish here looking and the um, normal lights which are a bit of cooler lights are um, i think more accurate on the vivo x100 pro where it's not a big huge difference for sure but the main 60 pro struggles there a bit and also in terms of detail here in the green grass you can clearly see that um, yeah i think they are on par there's not much of a difference to see there and then again the 100 versus 95 millimeter 4.3 versus three and a half times zoom very very similar also in terms of like colors but i think the vivo has a slightly better uh, better colors there especially here you can see it with this blue a little bit too punchy and the green maybe a bit too punchy where the vivo x100 pro has the right colors also here the detail level definitely better on the vivo x100 pro either it has better uh, the better lens better physics or it is a better processing here that uh, makes everything nice and clear where here in the mate 60 pro you can see yeah the all little details and how leds are lit, lit, lit up to show the price uh, are like uh, completely melted together there also the text here on the bottom much clearer on the vivo x100 pro especially the esso logo for example that is a little bit more yeah edited you can also clearly see it here on the vivo x100 pro much clearer here you can even cl uh, clearly read what's what's written there which is like here you can see that there's text here you don't even see that there's text underneath there so yes, uh, there is a difference for sure. Ultra wide angle again, brighter on the Mate 60 Pro for sure. Again, a bit struggling with the HDR where the uh, Vivo X100 Pro is doing a better job in terms of detail level and so on. Very, very comparable. So even if I want to trigger it, yes, maybe slightly better there on the Vivo X100 Pro with a wider field of view on the Mate 60 Pro. So maybe we could give it a slight win for the Vivo X100 Pro here. But overall, I would say the ultra wide angles are very, very comparable there. And especially as in daylight, the Mate 60 Pro is so much better than the Vivo X100 Pro. I would still give the slight edge here through the Mate 60 Pro. This is quite interesting because this is now a cropped in shot on the Vivo X100 Pro. So if you press the 1x button again, you go to 28 millimeters, which is very comparable to the 27 millimeters that the Mate 60 Pro by default shoots in. Better HDR again on the Vivo X100 Pro. It has a dedicated chip for this and we see a little bit better processing. The main camera sensor on the Vivo X100 Pro is a bit better. Also in terms of colors, we can clearly see it's a red kind of color that we have here. The Mate 60 Pro makes it like yellow for some reason, even though it's a bit better readable. Yeah, it's an interesting effect. The Vivo X100 Pro is more true to life, even though it's going more in this orangey kind of look there. It's more true to life for sure. We have heavily editing and processing on the Mate 60 Pro. You can see it here with the noise level that tries to fill in details, uh, which uh, the sensor struggles with. Uh, so I think the Vivo X100 Pro is a bit cleaner there for sure, uh, but they are not very far apart. I would say here in this uh, comparison, especially when you use the crop in and the Mate 60 Pro is also a bit cropped in, as I said. So it would be interesting if uh, Huawei would add like a 24 millimeter option there somehow uh, for us. 
uh, to try out the non-cropped version. Then selfies, uh, for some reason I forgot to make a selfie with the Mate 60 Pro, so I had to get an older selfie that uh, has roughly the same kind of um, me, <laughs> with uh, the same kind of uh, hairstyle and jacket. And uh, yes, uh, Vivo X100 Pro is uh, doing a good job, I would say, also handling the lights and so on. Uh, both are doing quite a good job handling the lights there in the background. When it comes to the foreground here, I think both struggle a little bit, especially the Mate 60 Pro because it's darker there. We have like also yeah the difference in terms of um, 13, million, 13 megapixels on the Mate 60 Pro and 32 megapixels on the Vivo X100 Pro. And here, yes, the Vivo looks a little bit better. When we go to 100% view, what we can clearly see is that, yeah, uh, it's a bit softer for sure on the Vivo X100 Pro. It's a bit sharper on the Mate 60 Pro. In general, the selfies on the Mate 60 Pro also with the flexibility of uh, having ultra wide angle, a wide angle and uh, a main like 1x kind of zoom is a bit better so the Mate 60 Pro here I think takes the crown in terms of selfies and uh, yeah also here selfie with background blur is also possible on both here colors and so on again with the main camera sensor this is cropped into 28 millimeters versus the Mate 60 Pro very interesting here uh, you can clearly see again the superiority of the UX100 Pro a little bit overblown here highlights on the Mate 60 Pro but it's not very far off. You can clearly see that, yes, the Vivo X100 Pro is better here slightly. However, look at this here, for example. Here, I think the Mate 60 Pro is doing a better job. Look at this and compare it with this one here. It's a bit less sharp, less clear on the Vivo X100 Pro and a bit more clearer here on the Mate 60 Pro for sure. And uh, yeah, also the tree here looks a bit more detailed on the Mate 60 Pro. So yes, there is like um, this back and forth between them. So I would say, yes, the main camera sensor is better on the X100 Pro, um, but it's not a huge margin. It's not a huge difference that we can see between them. And you can also clearly see it, it clearly in this uh, very dim lit situation where I wanted to photograph stars, but there are no stars there. The difference here, yes, it's a bit sharper, a tad sharp on the X100 Pro, but it's just so, so close that uh, you would not notice that uh, having them side by side like this, for example, just it's a bit wider field of view on the X100 Pro. And yeah, that's it in terms of night photography. Yes, the main camera sensor is still better on the X100 Pro. Mate 60 Pro is losing a bit in terms of the ultra wide angle where I think the Vivo X100 Pro has better HDR and doesn't struggle from this heavily editing and uh, the gap uh, is getting even wider in terms of the uh, zoom shots where the Vivo X100 Pro is just simply outpacing the Mate 60 Pro but the Mate 60 Pro is uh, doing very very well here in this situation as well so yeah uh, very hard to come to a conclusion here I would say but we have to come to a conclusion so let's come to the summary, conclusion and ranking. TLDR, the Huawei Mate 60 Pro gets 4.435 points and the Vivo X100 Pro gets 4.435 points. Very interesting because when you take a look at the ratings itself, they have different ratings, different strengths and weaknesses. So the main camera photo quality is better definitely on the Vivo X100 Pro. The main camera sensor IMX 989 is a very strong competitor and the Vivo X100 Pro together with its um, splendid chip and good HDR quality is really amazing here with the main camera photo quality at 4.8 points where the main camera photo quality is very good on the Mate 60 Pro for the sensor they are using and the variable aperture is a nice little feature that they add here. 4.6 I think is a good rating for the sensor but I hope to see Huawei striking back with its P70 series with a very very good one inch type sensor maybe or a better kind of sensor that we can have here in the variable aperture. Nevertheless, it's a good score on the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. When it comes to the ultra wide angle, very, very close together. I would even say in night times, sometimes the Vivo X100 Pro, thanks to its better HDR, is winning against the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. But at daylight, the win is significant. We have the wider angle of view that is a bonus, I think, for the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, especially when you take a look at the sharpness and detail level that is simply there and is simply all over the place better than the Vivo X100 Pro. So yes, 
0.81 times here, but really at daylight, the, the Huawei Mate 60 Pro is uh, miles better than the VWorks 100 Pro in the ultra wide angle. And I still think the ultra wide angle is one of the weakest um, cameras that the VWorks 100 Pro has on the, the main camera side, basically. Zoom camera photo quality is also very good and splendid on both, but the VWorks 100 Pro has with the 4.3 times more reach and more details and it's a little bit better there. The Huawei Mate 60 Pro is keeping up very, very good, but it is weaker than the Huawei, uh, than the Vivo X100 Pro for sure. And the way the Huawei is winning, I think, is just because of the focal length are the portrait shots where the three and a half times is working a little bit better for me. But when you compare the three and a half times versus the 4.3 times portrait shots, then you have like an equal match there with even, I would say, a slight edge towards the Vivo X100 Pro there. So the zoom camera photo quality here is the, the Vivo. But if the Vivo can keep up a little bit or improves the portraiture, mode a little bit more there then i think it could even like uh, rival and challenge the samsung galaxy s 23 ultra which is currently i think the king in terms of zoom camera photo quality uh, but yeah it is better than the huawei mate 60 pro for sure video recording quality is still i think better on the huawei mate 60 pro uh, it's a bit more uh, detailed it is better with the ultra wide angle it is more stabilized on all camera sensors which is quite nice and yeah the video camera quality here on the huawei mate 60 pro is um yeah on a different level than the vivo x100 pro sadly the vivo x100 pro is uh, falling behind there maybe also something that they can improve and upgrade and of course they have some fancy capabilities like for example you can completely deactivate the noise reduction which might introduce a lot of noise in the nighttime kind of uh, video recordings but that can be filtered out manually or it gives you a little bit more things to play around with than the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. Autofocus performance is basically equally on, on par there on both. Front camera, however, I think the VWorks 100 Pro, this is another weak spot of the VWorks 100 Pro, has a weak front camera, not only for video recording, but also where it lacks is a little bit of details and sharpness and the flexibility that you have with the front facing camera on the Huawei Mate 60 Pro, the possibility to do ultra wide angle, to have more people in there, the colors, the accuracy, is just simply there on the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. Camera UI, however, is better on the Vivo X100 Pro. We have more settings. It's easier to handle those things uh, than on the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. And uh, also switching between certain things is very, very easy. I like the switching between lenses on the camera UI on the Vivo X100 Pro. It is basically the same on the Mate 60 Pro, but the, the speed difference and the fluidity is uh, a huge thing that helps here enormously with the camera UI on the VWorks 100 Pro. Also, I like all those little nifty settings that you can take. Like, for example, setting up a timer without going into uh, the sub, sub, sub menu of a sub menu in the settings on, like on the Huawei, which is like a huge bummer. Uh, otherwise, extra features, the Huawei is a little bit better there. We have uh, the uh, possibility to record a nano memory cards uh, externally if you want to, which is missing on the Vivo X100 Pro. And the Vivo X100 Pro is like missing some other features like lock, for example, lock recording that was previously available uh, that uh, would have uh, catapulted here also beyond the Huawei Mate 60 Pro. So in general, you can see that we have a bit of a total different kind of uh, strengths and weaknesses between those. But in the end, we come to the same kind of point system. So both are sharing the number one spot. However, like I said, if you are searching for the one with the best main and the best uh, zoom camera photo quality, uh, both together, then definitely you cannot go wrong with the Vivo X100 Pro because in those two things, you can see 4.8, 4.5, it's beating the Huawei Mate 60 Pro for sure. When it comes to selfies, however, there, I would say it's a bit weak, especially when it comes then to videography, videography and uh, vlogging with the selfie cam. There are also the weak, one of the weak spots of the Vivo X100 Pro where the Huawei is simply one step ahead. So 
yeah, make out of it what you like here, but both are sharing the number one spot here currently, probably also until the end of the year, if nothing else is coming in here uh, on short notice. Uh, but yeah, this is currently my ranking both on uh, 4.435 points and it will be very very interesting next time when i will test out the Opel find x6 pro against the vivo x100 pro to see where are the strengths and weaknesses and if my scoring is still right or if i have to adjust it on one or another position here so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching if you want to give feedback or you have some questions ask them in the uh, comments i'm always liking uh, to read them and answer them and discuss with you stuff uh, because some people are like hey you're not testing this and that hey you should test high resolution pictures hey you should test raw pictures hey you should test this and that there's a lot of work going into those uh, comparisons and you know it's the end of the year it's a bit harder uh, to find time to put work and in, into this but i'm still doing it and uh, yes you can always do it even better but keep in mind this is not my main job that i'm doing here on youtube it's just in my spare time so i have to do a real job still and this is just a hobby and uh, Hopefully you like it and use it as orientation uh, because it's this even this uh, ranking system here is an orientation based upon my criteria and what I put in what category is also my criteria and this can be done a lot more scientifically uh, correct uh, on uh, websites like uh, GSM Arena or uh, for example, even DxO Mark, even if people don't like it, they have a very scientific way of uh, doing this and checking all those photos against each other, which is something that uh, it's good to have uh, someone doing this as well. And it's good also, I think, that I uh, can tell you a little bit about my opinion about those devices. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.